Hello beautiful souls. Smile. How are you? How's life so far? This is The Reaching Hand, where life's depth and meaning are in our connections. I believe that all of us have stories to tell, but not all have listeners. These stories lose its meaning when you have no one to share it with. The Reaching Hand is my simple advocacy. It's my way of reaching out, using my voice as a representation of someone's story. When was the last time you were corrected or reprimanded? This is the topic that I'm going to talk about in this video. No matter how mature we are, as we claimed, there are instances wherein we give in naturally to the inclinations of the inner child in us. This is further escalated in our times right now where we look for deviations to keep our sanity and our mental health intact. Admittedly, we can be mindless at times too, especially when we are conversing with people we are comfortable with because the norms within the group is less restrictive in comparison with the norms of the outsiders. As much as we are concerned, this is alright and normal, but for those watchful eyes, it can be a different thing. The dynamics of our interaction do not always run parallel with the dynamics of the reactions of other people. Of course, this is understandable, as these people are outgroup, which means they don't have the full knowledge and context of the in and out of our conversation. What is not acceptable, however, is when we overly attribute meanings to what we've seen or heard more than what it should. This becomes an issue. It is always imperative, as much as it is advisable, to assess where our reactions are generated from. When it is rooted from our vantage point, discrediting the context of the source, it is highly possible to lean towards bias, partiality, and subjectivity. Validation precedes judgment and judgment must be holistic. This means not just looking on both sides of the story that are visible, but as well as the hidden impulse of our emotions, motivations, and behavior. Otherwise, our judgment is nothing but an adverse opinion and highly presumptive. Part of our imperfections is to commit mistakes. There are times when it takes others' reactions for us to realize that we are at fault. That is why we need others because they served as our reflections of our actions. They become our mirror of calculating our responses. When mistakes are responded well, like recognition and admittance on the part of the one who committed it, and correction and reminder on the end of the ones concerned can be instrumental for growth, either personal or professional or both. When concerned, it is a mature act of delivering corrections without highlighting the fault or attacking the person. The appendage of correction is a reminder. When reminding others, the intention to correct the action and the expression of respect to the person must be in balance. Corrections mean reminding instead of reprimanding. After all, to correct and to remind others is an act of concern. As mature individuals, it is significant to be more accepting of our lapses than justifying it. It's about putting ourselves accountable. Accountability is integrity. 
As we expressed our intention, it is always good to be conscious of how we communicate the message. There is always a better way of saying things, and it is only in this way that such message is accepted heartily. I hope you have a blessed day today, beautiful souls. Love, the reaching hand.